Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, today look at the three zero Deluxe Transformers Bumblebee movie Soundwave. So this is the action figures as not non transformable sculpture, st sculpture or whatever you call it. So from the Bumblebee movie Soundwave only show up like a few seconds. It's quite cool. Um, so come with all the accessories. You can see that's the box in the back. You get instruction manual. Got like an action stand. Get a sonic gun and come with the ravage as well, which I'll talk about later, and all this sort of different hands. So look at the sound with him himself. So very, very cool. I mean it's same to the I always like I always like very like the design in the Bubblebee movie. I'm glad they keep doing it. So besides so after they did the so I think they did Bubblebee, Police Wing, Optimus Prime, and now they did Bubblebee. Oh sorry, and now they did uh Soundwave's quite good. Hopefully they do the rest of the characters. Um, yeah, so, so let's look at a close look. So the hand sculpt just looks so nice. Um, you got all the Decepticon logo, so all the paint to make a lot of like better damage paints, right? Quite cool with the quality. And um, you can turn on the light. Ooh, you can light up red with a very, very cool red color. So closely look. Yeah, so just press the button on the top and here we go. And articulation wise, hand can move. Oh, so the hand can move around. And shoulder. I don't want to move too much because it's quite expensive. <laughs> uh, here we go. It's shoulder, shoulder armor. And elbows, arm part can move as well. I think it's generally action figure level. And waist, and don't think it can. Yes, yeah, so you can slightly bend the waist as well. I don't want to bend too much, and the, also the legs. Just look at all the jaw in here. It is just so cool. Oops, I think I did something wrong here. Okay, here we are. Good. I don't want to broke you. I really don't want to break you. Okay. Here we are. Yeah. I mean, it is so much detail. I mean, it's now transformed. I even don't know what he transforms in the movie. He doesn't transform in the movie, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the studio series from Hashbro would do something trans. Like, because the one can be transformed at some point, but. Now this is the best movie sound wave we can get, which is quite good. And it can so the cannon can actually be fold back. I bring up camera a little bit more. Uh, also you can open the chest to place the ravage in, which is just basically just open like Let's open it so you can see the inside and for now see the clear but it gets some sort of detailing going on I don't know if it's a sticker or this I think that's a sticker I just close it first and then we're gonna look at the ravage so you can change some to a sort of cassette or like box um, just look at detail so the back so with this form he can go into Sunwave's chest just like the movie there we go, and here's go scene. Da da, and you can close it. So that's it. <laughs> um, there's no particular thing going on inside anyway, so you can just take it off. And now we're gonna transform him. So this is almost somehow they did make manage to make this transform, which is quite interesting. Uh, and it's normally besides hashball, they don't really do transform transform transformable transformers. I know they did just like some pan or shoes, things like that. But I mean, this is not really transform. It's basically just um, fold everything is folded. Um, here we go. This is not really transform. Come on. <laughs> um, basically, just put this down. I believe. Let me have a look. Oops, I'm taking this part down. So this is all plastic. I believe it's maybe some die casting. I can't feel the weight here. I think Sunwave definitely got some, definitely got like 
quite a fair bit of die cast and metal inside. Oh my god, what I did here. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Here we are. Hmm, what's going on here? Ugh. There we go. So in this piece, let's go down like that, probably. And bring down the feet, like that. Here we go. This, like this, to make sure everything was nicely. And you can open the mouse. Yes. Very cool, Ravage. I like him better than Michael Bay movie. I just generally like everybody in the... Generally like everyone in the Bubble Bee movies in the Michael Bay movie. Please keep doing that. Please, Hatchbow, thanks. And to come with some parts, attachment. This is like missile launcher, maybe. Put on top. And some side cannon, which goes in, I believe, just here. If I'm right, like this. And this. So now I get a Ravage. Very cool Ravage. I like it. So just sitting next to the sound wave. And you come all this sort of hand. So that's a sonic gun. Sonic cannon, they call it. In the instruction manual, at least. Very, very nice rifle. So we're going to put him in. You're just going to slide this thing into the hand. Like that. Like this. And very easy to, easy to change the hand as well. Just basically just take this thing down. And here we go. It's ball joint. Basically just put it in like Gundam. Oh, I don't know, I the robot spirit. So yeah, very, very cool. Now look at the sun wave. Oops. Uh, you can do some posing, and also you can have this hand, which is quite cool, I like it. Like that, just change it. Pointing to you. Oh. Like this. And do some posing. Very, very cool. Yes. Very, very cool sound wave. I'm really happy with it. Um, this is for my second sculpture sort of thing, um, besides Hashbro, besides Optimus Prime, second one I got. Um, I think I might need, might need to get um, Bubble Bee, just for sake for everyone. Things, I mean, the Beetle one, of course, I don't like the Cam Camaro one uh, myself. I know my, my friend, my Jim, my PD, my person Jim trying to like him, but which is good. I think it's got a cool car, but I just feel like Bubble Bee should just be Beetle, but anyway, here we go. And yes, and we're gonna try to make Ravage back to him. But anyway, that's what it was. That's the sound wave is. That's such a cool figure. Everybody who love Bubble Bee movie, suggest to get it. This is the only sound wave we can get, I believe, from official licensed. Maybe some other. I think I don't know. You can point. You can point out if any other sound wave from Fish Show. Let me know. I believe other than Soda Party, I don't really buy Soda Party toy recently. So, think. But anyway, so just for comparison, at the end, Prime light up. So sort of same high. I think. Uh, some way from slightly higher. No, actually, actually, I think same height. I don't think I I doubt the three I did the scale, which I hope they did. Maybe that's what exactly same height supposed to be. So you can see both of them very really, very really cool. Generally, they're just very really cool. They're two cool hot toys, and also come forget G One must be some way. I mean, I think they're gonna do a point one, two points there at some points. Beat all of the sun wave. I mean, it's good enough for me, but maybe they're gonna do another sun wave. 
So you can see how they really develop a design from keep the G1 style but into the modern, the realistic future sci-fi design. The sort of Michael Bay, but this is not Michael Bay, which is really, I really don't like the Michael Bay sound wave, which is, yeah. But I mean, this is a cool. Buy it, just buy it. <laughs> Alright, anyway, thanks for you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.